Hello everyone. Welcome to UIAS. Let's discuss today's prelims topics. Question 1 Consider the following statements about steel. 1. India is the world's second largest steel maker. 2. Making 1 ton of steel releases 1.8 tons of carbon dioxide. 3. Strong steel consists of more than 10% of carbon. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 only. The answer is A. Strong steel consists of a tiny amount of less than 1% of carbon. To achieve this mix, iron oxide is heated with coke, a form of coal with high carbon content, at 1700 C inside a blast furnace. The carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide, leaving iron with around 4% carbon behind. This iron is remelted and oxygen is blown through it, producing more carbon dioxide and reducing the amount of carbon in the iron to a desirable level. Question to what are neurotoxins? 1. Neurotoxins are poisonous substances that can directly affect the digestive system. To these substances can eventually disrupt or even kill neurons or nerve cells, which are important for transmitting and processing signals in the brain and other parts of the nervous system. 3. Methane, hydrogen sulfide, carbon monoxide, and carbon dioxide are common neurotoxic gases. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is D. Neurotoxicity occurs when exposure to natural or man-made toxic substances alters the normal activity of the nervous system. While methane and carbon monoxide are odorless gases, hydrogen sulfide has a pungent odor and in higher concentrations, it can be fatal for humans. Neurotoxins are poisonous substances that can directly affect the nervous system. Question 3. Consider the following statements about Section 124 A Sedition Law. 1. Punishment under Section 124 A ranges from imprisonment up to 3 years to a life term, to which a fine may be added. 2. Sedition is a non-bailable offence. 3. The law was originally drafted in 1860 by Thomas Macaulay, the British historian politician, but was inexplicably omitted when the IPC was enacted in 1870. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 only. Answer is A. The law was originally drafted in 1837 by Thomas Macaulay, the British historian politician, but was inexplicably omitted when the IPC was enacted in 1860. The first known instance of the application of the law was the trial of newspaper editor Jogendra Chandra Bose in 1891. In 1922, Gandhi was arrested on charges of sedition in Bombay for taking part in protests against the colonial government. Question 4 with reference to African swine fever, ASF, consider the following statements. 1. Also called warthog fever. 2. The virus responsible for African swine fever is classified as an Asfar virus. 3. The disease was first identified in 1910 in South Africa, where it was noted in domestic swine after contact with forest pigs and warthogs. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. 1 only B. 1 and 2 only C. 1, 2 and 3 D. 3 only Answer is B. The disease was first identified in 1910 in Kenya, where it was noted in domestic swine after contact with forest pigs and warthogs. African Swine Fever, ASF also called warthog fever, 
highly contagious and usually fatal viral disease of swine that is characterized by high fever, lesions, leukopenia, abnormally low count of white blood cells, elevated pulse and respiration rate, and death within 4 to 7 days after the onset of fever. The incubation period is from 5 to 15 days. Question 5 Consider the following statements about psychedelics. 1. Psychedelics are a group of drugs that alter perception, mood, and thought processing while a person is still clearly conscious. 2. Ketamine, a dissociative anesthetic with psychedelic properties, is used under strict medical supervision for anesthesia and to treat treatment-resistant depression. 3. Psychedelics are addictive and toxic. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 1 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is A. Psychedelics are non-addictive and non-toxic. Compared to illicit drugs, psychedelics cause much less harm to the end user. The two most commonly used psychedelics are delizergic acid diethylamide LSD, and psilocybin. Researchers have also developed synthetic psychedelics. In India, the Narcotic Drugs and Psychotropic Substances Act 1985 prohibits the use of psychedelic substances. A psychiatrist named Humphrey Osmond first used the term psychedelic in 1957 to denote the therapeutic tendency of these drugs to unmask repressed elements of the psyche. The word is derived from the Greek words psyche, meaning mind, and delaun, meaning to manifest. Humans have used psilocybin and mescaline for ceremonial, healing, and spiritual rituals for millennia. Temples built for mushroom deities in indigenous cultures in Mexico and Guatemala date back to 7000 BC. Records of the Greek Eleusinian mysteries indicate that psychedelics were used in ceremonial rituals. Records of the Greek Eleusinian mysteries indicate that psychedelics were used in ceremonial rituals. Question 6 with reference to starberisins, recently in news, consider the following statements. 1. AM new sensor was developed to identify stars in the sky. 2. On its maiden space test, the sensor was launched on board the PSLV orbital experimental module POEM. 3. The low-cost sensor has been designed to quickly calculate where the satellite is pointing and provides the most accurate information about a spacecraft's orientation. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 1 and 2 only. B. 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is C. The Starberry since has been developed by the Indian Institute of Astrophysics from off-the-shelf components. On its maiden space test, the sensor was launched on board the PSLV Orbital Experimental Module POEM, and began functioning after the deployment of the two primary and secondary satellites of the mission. POEM is a unique initiative by ISRO that utilizes the spent fourth stage of the PSLV as an orbital platform for carrying out scientific experiments. The main function of the sensor is to image the field of view, correctly identify the stars it sees, and calculate the pointing direction. Question 7 with reference to Bihan Mela, consider the following statements. 1. Celebrated by the members of the Bheel tribe in Odisha's Nayagadh district. 2. It is the seed festival. 3. Preparations begin as soon as farmers have harvested kharif crops. Which of the following given above is are correct? A. 2 only. B. 1 and 3 only. C. 1, 2 and 3. D. 2 and 3 only. The answer is D. Celebrated by the members of the Kond tribe in Odisha's Nayagadh district. Women, who are at the hem of this festival, carefully collect seeds of the indigenous varieties and store them in earthen pots. Then, on a designated day in December, 
they decorate the pots with red and white motifs, place them in a bamboo basket and carry it on their head to the village where the fair is being organized. Along the way, they are accompanied by men beating drums and other traditional instruments. Question 8 with reference to blue bugging, consider the following statements about. 1. It is a form of hacking that lets attackers access a device through its discoverable Bluetooth connection. 2. Blue bugging can happen whenever a Bluetooth-enabled device is within a 10-meter radius of the hacker. 3. Once a device or phone is blue bugged, a hacker can listen to the calls, read and send messages and steal and modify contacts. Which of the following given above is our correct? A. One only. B. One and three only. C. One, two and three. D. Two and three only. The answer is C. It is a form of hacking that lets attackers access a device through its discoverable Bluetooth connection. Once a device or phone is blue bugged, a hacker can listen to the calls, read and send messages and steal and modify contacts. It started out as a threat to laptops with Bluetooth capability. Later hackers used the technique to target mobile phones and other devices. Independent security researcher Martin Herford blogged about the threat of blue bugging as early as 2004. He noted that the bug exploited a loophole in Bluetooth protocol, enabling it to download phone books and call lists from the attacked user's phone. Thank you, everyone. Do subscribe to this channel. Use code SPLIVE to join an academy.